let's look at the second macroeconomic factor inflation and its relationship with stock prices high inflation is a negative for the stock market this is because inflation reduces the real value of future corporate earnings and dividends we will see in detail what real and nominal means in the gross domestic chapter but for now we simply need to know that real values in economics are those that are adjusted for inflation the higher the inflation the lower the real value since stocks can be priced as the present value of future dividends the lower the real future cash flows due to an increase in inflation the lower is present value another way of looking at the erosion of the future value of money due to inflation is that in times of rising inflation investors add something called an inflation premium to their required rate of return to understand what this required rate of return is and what the inflation premium is let's first understand the components of the required rate of return now we need to return to our bond pricing exercise to understand this concept so for a government security bond the required rate of return is the risk free rate so we have seen in the bond pricing exercise that the discount rate or the required rate of return for a 5 year government security with a coupon payment of 10% priced at 95.05 is 11.35% now us government bonds as said before are considered to be risk free since the chance of the government defaulting on debt is extremely low so for any other asset that is riskier than government securities like stocks or corporate bonds the discount rate or the required rate of return is now the risk free rate plus a risk premium so investors now require an additional compensation for their investment in the form of a risk premium in times of rising prices investors now add an additional compensation for investing their money which is an inflation premium this is because the investor loses on the purchasing power of his or her future cash flows the higher the inflation rate the higher the inflation premium and hence higher the required rate of return the present value of future cash flows when discounted by this higher required rate of return is lower than it would have been without the inflation premium and hence investors would only buy at lower prices in order to achieve that higher rate of return so in our bond pricing exercise we see that the risk free rate which is the rate on the government bond is 5% and in case of corporate bonds and stocks investors would add a risk premium of an additional 2% now in times of rising prices the inflation premium would increase from say 1% to 1.5% bringing the discount rate to 8.5% and if we had to price a, another instrument with the similar cash flows as the bond let's assume that this is now a corporate bond and we had to price the corporate bond at discount the cash flows at 8.5% then the price would drop from a 121 to 105.91 so we see that as investors build in a higher inflation premium the prices of stocks and bonds would fall because the required rate of return is now much higher than it was before